Okay, so on the second part of this uh, little tutorial, the second video, I want to go through and show you the dummy that I recreated. Um, here is a, a dummy that I scribbled, scribbled out on some scratch paper, so you can see the extra computer marks in there. But you can notice that I've set it up that this is the form one, okay? That's the first one we already put into the document in InDesign. Um, and I basically just folded up a mock-up of that calendar. We call it a dummy. And it's, it's got every little page on there. It's got the cover, so you can see the cover if it were folded in half. And I just go through and label it. But it's also showing me which pages to work and which pages to in position. So it's really hard to do that in your head. Really easy to come up with a dummy and mark all those pages. So you can see, this is my blueprint. This tells me every page I need to, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way through 14. So it'll go through and show every page, the placement of every one. July picture, July dates, um, August picture, June dates. See all those different pages. And the last extra pages, I've just got thumbnail top and then a thumbnail bottom somewhere in here. Thumbnail bottom. Okay. So that's my guide. That's what I'm using to basically put all the pages into and design to in position it with. Okay, that's my reference. So if I look at this one, I go in here on page two, I've got January pick and the thumbnail bottom. So that's what we're going to work with. So we'll go through January pick, which would be, let's go into InDesign and import that in. So first thing we want to go to is page two. Make sure you got the black arrow. Select that box, file in place, the shortcut command D, select the PDF file, make sure show import options is checked. And then we're going to do and find January pick, page two. Let's do that top part. Make sure that it says crop to crop. If you do the bounding box, it'll cut off the sides and will not place that in correctly. So make sure you use the crop to crop feature. There it is. Okay, we only need the top. If you look back at the file I had, where's preview? If you look back here, January picture and thumbnail and bottom. We don't need the bottom half of January until the next page. That's part of the imposition process. So what we'll do is we'll use this black arrow, select that box, come to one of these bounding anchor points, and just collapse that box so you can't see the bottom half of it. And that's why I had the second box, so you could come down here and select it. We don't want to select up top, because that will select the snowman for January. If you click down here, you select that box, then you can go up to File, Place, and Bring In. If we look at our preview, we've got the thumbnail bottom. So, bring that picture in. Go all the way to the end. There's the thumbnails. So, we'll bring in page 14, make sure it's cropped to crop. There it is. Once again, we need to hide the top half because we don't need that. So we'll use that bounding box with it selected and just tuck that away. Hide that so we don't see it. That easy. Okay. Then we can go back to our, our dummy and look at the next one. Thumbnail top for page 3, uh, January bottom. This would actually be the form view. So you're seeing these as forms. Okay, file in place, command D, make sure show import options are checked with that PDF. And I think I've forgotten which page it was. Let's go back to our preview. Thumbnail top and January bottoms. So we can go to the thumbnail top, make sure that crop to crop is selected. So we want the thumbnail top here. And it should be January bottom is what we're looking at. So we'll select that box, use the shortcut, Command-D, select that one, get to a point where we've got January bottom, there it is. It's that easy. Don't forget to hide the one behind it. That becomes a problem. Okay. Next one, file in place. Okay. You bring in that same one, and we're actually looking at February pick and December bottom. So we'll do the February pick for that. And December bottom for the all the way in, go back one, crop to crop. 
as you can see it's that simple continue through if you refer back to that you can see February pick December bottom now we're on this form December pick February numbers Import that one in. See, we want a February, February, December pig. Oh, past it. sure you hide those you should be good simple as that uh, make sure that you save early save often that's a, a big important thing um, and design is one of the buggier things make sure that you're working off of your hard drive I would not recommend that you work off of your jump drive portable drives by any means Yeah, so make sure you're saving your files quite often okay, and that should be it for that I'm um, the next video we'll, I'll go through and finish this calendar and show you guys how to make it two up to place it next to each other to use all your paper on that page